it's January the 10th and um, I've met with Jim Toomey and Lisa McElliott um, because Jim's my advisor for the next few months during the making of my documentary. Now, after talking to him, he has said that making a documentary, a visual documentary, is going to be a huge undertaking um, because I'll need five crew members and to try and get somebody that can film, that can do the sound, edit, direct is going to be a huge task for me. So I went home and thought about it, um, whether to do a radio production instead. Now, today, I also met with Fiona Stack from Radio Kerry and a screenwriter, and they've also said it's a huge undertaking and that I could possibly, very possibly, produce an even better documentary for radio. So... I need to sit down and talk to Lisa and find out if she's agreeable with this because my treatment will obviously have to be changed and a few other documents. But it's something that I'm looking at doing now uh, because I only have about four or five months pro to produce the, the, the um, documentary. Now, I have talked to somebody who's also at the college, highly qualified in sound, and he's offered kindly to help me um, learn how to use the mics and, and to master in Pro Tools and everything like that. So I've done some research because initially we had three themes, which was community, identity and belonging. And belonging seems to be the one that's come to the front more than the other two. So I've done some research um, and, and look at, looking at belonging and also why people migrate. For example, the common reason people leave their homeland is to have a better quality of life. Um, even if they know that they're going to face harder times because just because you migrate, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. There are going to be challenges that you don't necessarily know about. People often will move over, um, earn sufficient money and they do eventually return home. But that's not always the case. People that migrate, they find that their social life, social existence is a lot better than their home country. And sometimes they actually influence their own, their original friends and family to move over to a foreign land. The other one is political migration. The type is any resettlement motivated mainly for political interests. It differs from other migrations since it attempts to change certain parts of the political, si si political system. These changes can be done by altering the demographics of a particular region. And the focus on demographic requires an emphasis on migration to low population areas or artificially making high population regions. There's also the push and pull factors why people migrate. Some people leave their homeland because of poverty, as I've already mentioned, lack of safety, high, high crime rate. Some people choose to migrate, some, for example, someone who moves to another country to enhance their career opportunities. Now, some people give high emphasis on high standard of living. It is often seen that parents send their children abroad so they can attain a better lifestyle. So there's, so there's a lot of different reasons why people will, will migrate, but that is something that I do want to bring into, into my production. But to find out what it feels like for somebody to actually belong, like, you know, and also what was it like when they were moving from their home country into a new one? What things do they miss? Um, what have they lost since they've moved, but also what have they gained since they've, they've come into, an, into a new country and what makes them feel like they belong as part of a community, as part of the, of the, of the new country that, that they've moved into. So this is where I'm at at the moment. I'm just kind of researching and talking to a few people as to, you know, to give me some ideas about what they feel makes them belong do, do they do they need pe other people to make them feel like they belong? Hopefully, I'm going to meet Jim Toomey again this week with Lisa um, and get it confirmed whether I can do a radio production in instead of the, the visual documentary, which I do intend to do in the future. But as I said, with my skills in film and lighting, which definitely need to be polished up, to try and actually source crew members... As, um, at the moment is, is proving to be extremely hard. One, financial reasons, and two, the people that would have actually helped me are in their final year of their degree, or there's other people that I know that are, that are working and just don't have the time. So that's the way it is at the moment. So um, I'll talk to you next week, hopefully. Bye.